What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the first of what I hope are many bonus episodes here on my channel. And just as some fun little extra content today, I'm gonna give you a fall wardrobe update. Now, I know I'm a little bit late. I've been trying to get this one out, trying to get this one finished. I actually previously recorded this video and it came out terrible, so I had to redo the whole thing. But finally, we're getting to it and I'm gonna have a cool little wardrobe update for you guys. If you've been following the channel, you've noticed that I talk about how I love fashion and I put out a couple of videos uh, about fashion and photography together. And I'm hoping to kind of do some more of these going forward. I think it's really fun. And you know, my other hobby aside from photography is clothing and fashion. So let's get started. Let's just get right into it with the first piece that I picked up for the fall. I picked up a pair of Dickies 874 original twill pants in the dark brown colorway. I know these are really trendy right now, but you know what? It's for good reason. The fit is really good and they're really inexpensive. I like the slightly relaxed straight leg kind of fit and I think overall these have a really great approachable silhouette. If you're in the market for a more relaxed pant or you're looking to kind of dive into the world of more relaxed wider pants, the Dickies are a really great option because the barrier of entry is super super low. At $30 it's really hard to go wrong. I did have some sizing issues with these and I honestly bought them from Amazon. I really hate shopping at Amazon, I hate giving them money, but I bought these there because I knew that sizing might be a little weird. I've had Dickies in the past and I know that their sizing can vary from pair to pair. And that's especially something that's very common with, you know, cheaper garments like this. Overall, for the price, I'm super happy with these. They're a really cool, tough pant that I can kind of wear anywhere and not really care about and not have to worry about if I get them ripped up or stained and you know, I can replace them really easily. Next up is a piece I'm really excited about. It's actually a piece I picked up in the summer. I saw a pop up on the Real Real and I paid probably what would be like normal sale price. It is a L.L. Bean Todd Snyder collaboration chamois cloth chore coat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's like chamois or chamois, who, who cares, whatever, I don't know. I I'm just gonna say chamois. It's essentially a normal L.L. Bean overshirt with a couple added details in this pretty cool duck camo pattern. I've actually seen this same pattern pop up on eBay, just regular L.L. Bean kind of mainline. It's got some cool paneling here on the arms. It's like a canvas paneling that adds a nice little bit of a detail. I sized up to an extra large. I generally float between large and extra large and find myself sizing up pretty often because I like looser, more relaxed silhouettes. It is pretty big, but I really like how I can throw this over pretty much anything and not have to feel constricted and not worry about feeling stuffed under the coat. The material is nice and soft, it's nice and hefty, and it's nice and warm. And overall, I'm very happy with this piece. I think it's really cool. I'm absolutely loving the Todd Snyder collaborations that they're doing. L.L. Bean was great, the second one was great, and the J Press one is looking to be really, really cool as well. The third piece that I have to show off today is this coat from Adsum. Now, if you haven't heard of Adsum before, I really recommend checking them out. They're a small brand based out of New York. And they're doing a really nice, clean, minimalist styling with some very approachable, fun fit that is a really great addition to any wardrobe. So far, I've picked up three pieces from them and every single piece I've been very happy with. I think their stuff is very high quality and it goes on sale pretty often so you can find it for pretty good prices. This coat was actually a gift from my girlfriend, Taylor. She was nice enough to buy this for me for my birthday. She actually tried to get me a dark brown version that they did and had on sale during a sample sale recently, but unfortunately that order didn't pan out. So they were nice enough to send her a discount code and she got me this one in the light olive colorway instead. And I'm very happy with this piece. I think it is really cool and has some great details. I love the game pocket in the back and the corduroy on the collar feels really nice. The fit is a little boxy, but it doesn't feel oversized or too big. It's definitely, again, an approachable, more relaxed fit. This next piece is something a little bit different. It's another piece that I picked up on the Real Real. I saw it pop up and I think that they had mistagged it. So when I saw it pop up, it was way cheaper than kind of every other uh, piece from this brand. So I jumped on it quickly. It's a long sleeve t-shirt from Nike ACG. Now, personally, I think Nike ACG is relatively underhyped in kind of like the menswear circles. I think it's a really fun, 
you know, hiking vintage inspired brand that brings a lot of really cool, interesting pieces to the table. I actually picked up another Nike ACG piece that I'm going to be talking about in my winter version of my wardrobe updates. And that piece is very cool and I'm very excited about it. But overall, this shirt, I just thought it was really fun. I love the graphic. I love the hiking Sasquatch. The material is a nice, nice, light, loose material. It'll be great for early fall and spring. Here I am wearing it with a pair of nylon hiking pants that I got at Uniqlo and a pair of Solomon trail sneakers that I love to wear during the summer and early fall when I'm outside a lot. So yeah, fun graphic, nice material. The only thing that I was a little uh, unhappy with was the neckline. I felt that the neck is a little too loose. I usually like a little bit of a tighter neckline, but overall, fine. And I'm, I'm glad I took a size up on this one. This seems like a, a little bit of an earlier Nike ACG piece where they kind of just put a graphic on a regular Nike shirt. So I recommend doing a little bit of research if you're planning to get some Nike ACG stuff. The, the piece that I had just picked up, I got in a true to size large and it fits great, but this piece I'm glad that I sized up to an extra large. Stan Ray is a brand that dominates the bottoms in my wardrobe. I find that the price point, the fit and the materials all check out to make a really, really good product. So when I saw these pop up this season, I jumped on them pretty quickly because I wanted a pair of olive corduroy pants and these being a fatigue pant as well, just sweeten the deal. The material is really nice. It's thick, it's hefty. I love the fit. Again, nice and relaxed. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna hem these or cuff them or just leave them to kind of pull a little bit. I, I, kinda, I kinda like them this way and I think if I, if I leave them unhemmed, I'll have the option to kind of cuff to a certain length or leave them leave them a little bit more relaxed for that for that kind of slouchy look. I find that not every pant, maybe just on me, but not every pant pulls uh, or stacks nicely. I find that sometimes they stack very unevenly and, and in a very not neat sloppy way. And I tend to avoid that and, and cuff or hem my pants instead. But these, I'm kind of liking this. So I think I'm gonna wear these a few times first and see how I, how I like the length before I make a decision. But overall, very happy. This is a great addition to my wardrobe. I, I love the, the rugged look of the corduroy. I love the texture and the fatigue pant. You know, the fatigue pockets adds a little bit of visual interest on top of the corduroy fabric. Uh, it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a flat front pant. This next piece is a flannel shirt I picked up from a brand called Banks Journal. I've seen ads for Banks Journal pop up on Instagram all over, and I never really thought much about them as a brand. I never really looked into the stuff that they had, but I saw this shirt go on sale at Home Essentials down in Richmond, Virginia. Um, it was really, really fairly priced, and I love the color and I love the pattern. I thought it was very simple, approachable, and I love the you know dual chest pocket kind of work shirt style on a flannel. So I decided to give it a shot and, and give it a try. I've never had anything from this brand before and I'm, I'm really trying to uh, approach brands that I've never had stuff before with an open mindset and say like, hey, you know, there's stuff out there that I don't have to have a recommendation from everyone for everything, but I can try stuff on my own and see if I like it. And overall, I think this is a really nice piece. It's a little on the thin side, but I don't mind that actually. I tend to run really hot, so so I don't really mind when my shirts are kind of on the thinner side. I actually prefer to just layer anyway. But yeah, I like the color, I like the pattern. I think this is gonna be a nice go-to simple staple piece in my wardrobe that I can kind of wear with anything and, and wear, wear casually or, or dress up a little bit with uh, something a little bit more fun. And last, but certainly not least, is probably the biggest and most exciting purchase that I made for the fall season. I have been looking for a cardigan for about a year now, and it was a piece that I was a little apprehensive about. I've never had a cardigan before, and all of the cardigans that I've tried on in stores, I've been a little on the fence about. So spending a lot of money on, uh, on a cardigan was something that I wasn't really prepared to do unless it was a cardigan that really struck me. And it was a piece that really spoke to me. It was a piece that, you know, if I saw it, I would, would know in that moment. And this piece absolutely checks all the boxes for me. This is a wool mohair cardigan from Beams Plus. I absolutely love the pattern. I love the color. I love the texture and the fabric of this piece. The fit is exactly what I was looking for. It drapes so nicely and it was worth the weight and it was worth every penny. I'm so excited for this to be a statement piece in my wardrobe. It really stands out in the best way. The pattern is a little bit on the extravagant side, but not so much that it's like funky or weird or anything. It's it's just that right amount of a visual interest and, and texture and, and that color combination that 
it can act as a stable piece of my wardrobe or a standout piece of my wardrobe. One that I can, you know, throw over a coat or wear over just a t-shirt or a plain button-down shirt and, and really let it stand out. It's very warm, it, the material is very luxurious feeling, the, the, the stitching and the, and the knit is it's very tight and very high quality. So yeah, this is one that I'm, I'm so excited for. I think it's absolutely beautiful and really changed my, my perspective on cardigans. I, I, I would love to own more cardigans after having this piece. And I know there, there are some more cardigans out there that really have that, that striking visual nature and, and they're just as beautiful as this one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you enjoyed me showing off some of my pieces for this fall. Again, I know this video is a little bit late, but I got plenty of time until winter and I got plenty of time to wear all this stuff. I, it's going to be cold where I am until March and a lot of this stuff is going to work just fine with, with layering. So excited to wear everything. And if you like this sort of thing, if you like some of the more fashion stuff that I like to do, you can check me out on Instagram. I'll throw my handle up. I actually have two Instagrams. I usually put the Instagram handle at the end of the video. I have one Instagram that I show off all my outfits and then my other Instagram where I promote my videos and I, and I post my photos. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing and uh, I will see you guys next time. Later.